Another thing which is going to change it even more is the, the variable of the mouthpiece you use. So I'm using one that has a very, very thick, uh, sorry, a, a very deep cup. So that gives it, you know, quite a quite a deep sound. You can't play as high, so you're you're sacrificing some things. But wow, but so certain, yeah, even right. even a mouthpiece can change the tone. Big time, man. Yeah, yeah it's a very important thing. So it's heavy, you, isn't it? You find guys like us. We have 20, 30, I don't know. Some guys might have fifty or a hundred of these sitting around the house. I'm at about twenty-two, I think now. So wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important. But yeah, getting back to what you're saying before. So uh, trumpet players. Another guy from that that part of the world is called Tom Harrell, and he's he's older. He'll be in his sixties now or something like that. But he's one of the fathers of of kind of modern jazz trumpet playing and still kicking around doing it. And just yeah, an amazing amazing player. So every time, you know. I think anyone would listen to them. You, you'll you'll enjoy it. But when I listen to it, I'm learning something, you know. And and he's one guy that I do write down, I write down what he's wow. doing. So yeah, really cool. So it's like artists, you know. Like when we were talking about um, uh, Kandinsky. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like you're drawn to his art for a reason. Like, uh, well, I also know that you you're a painter, but when I looked at some of your paintings. They sort of resembled a bit of Kandinsky's, like technique, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it must be the same in uh, in music. Like, there's a reason why you're attracted to the music that these guys play. Uh, when they, I, th- I think I'm attracted to the process. Oh, okay. So, so, I mean, it's definitely. I mean, yeah. First and foremost, it's the sound. I think it's just a really cool form of music. And yeah. It, it expresses this kind of coolness and. Uh, you know, originally, I mean, people think of you know when they when they think of jazz, New York, and and you know city streets and and all of that stuff. But I mean, why not? It's you know it's just such a cool thing. So that's that that's the first and foremost thing. But then secondly, it is about the process of being able to do it. So it's it's different to being say a classical musician, where you know the, those guys are bloody perfect at, at perfecting what what's on a page and making sure that it stands out as a recording would. You know, and quite often they do get recorded and put on ABC after they play in the orchestras. Uh, what a jazz player does is they get up and they make it up. So they're like a composer, but in real time. Mm. Yeah. So it's, uh, wow. you know, it's a, it's a totally different animal. It's, yeah. it's just a totally different way that you're using your brain to create something. 